This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. On behalf of our father, Prophet Philip Banda, and our mother in the Lord, Mam Tesha Banda, we welcome you in today's service. Viewers, thank you for coming and thank you for tuning in. Whatever situation you are facing, know that circumstances of life may come to test your faith in God. Remember, God Almighty is above all things. The man of God, Prophet Philip Banda, said, True Christianity stands firm regardless of trials, believing that in God all things hold together. And God Almighty saves those who trust in Him. As we continue with what God Almighty has in store for us today, please open your heart and allow God Almighty to meet you at your very point of need. Ladies and gentlemen, Enjoy the service. Shalom. Put your hands together for Jesus. Oh God. Oh. Here we go. You are God. And we lift you up.
Oh yeah. Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Are you happy to be in the house of the Lord? Give him a shout of
Jesus.
Worship him this morning. He's worthy of all our praise. He's worthy of all our worship. Give him honor. Give him glory due to his name. The King of kings. The Lord of lords. The great I am. The Alpha and the Omega. The length of my days. The very bread that I breathe. You alone stand alone, O oh God. We praise you and worship you this morning. We praise you and worship you this morning. You deserve our praise, O Most High. There is none like you who can compare to you. There is none like you, O Lord. There is none like you, O Lord. There is none like you, O Lord. We lift up our voice in worship to you. We lift up our voice in praise to you. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you. We love you, Jesus. We love you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Thank you, Lord. Let us pray this morning. Please repeat after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. All I need is your mercy. All I need is your mercy. All I need is your pardon. All I need is your pardon. All I need is your forgiveness. All I need is your forgiveness. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. All I need is your mercy. All I need is your mercy. All I need is your pardon. All I need is your pardon. All I need is your forgiveness. Come on, pray this morning and ask God for mercy, ask God for pardon, ask God for His forgiveness. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus, we offer prayer. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus, suffer prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us continue to pray this morning, viewers all over the world. Pray that may God Almighty sanctify your spirit, your soul, your heart, your mind, and your body. Pray that the Lord God Hashem may sanctify your spirit, your soul, your heart, your mind, and your body. With the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. Three times we offer prayer. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. And in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And in the blood of Jesus. We offer prayer.
in the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Ask God this morning to capture your mind. Commit yourself before the Lord this morning and ask Hashem to help you pray with concentration. Ask Hashem to help you pray with concentration. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, suffer prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us continue to pray this morning. Pray and refuse anything that tries to hinder you and I from getting closer to God today. Pray and ask God Almighty to help you and I to refuse and remove anything that may hinder us from getting closer to God this morning, this day. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus Christ, all those things should break away in the name of Jesus Christ. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. Jesus. Offer prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us turn our Bibles to Psalm 143 verse 1. Psalm 143 verse 1. Psalm 143 verse 1. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplications. In your faithfulness, answer me. And in your righteousness. Amen. Let us pray this morning, declaring our dependency upon Hashem. Pray this morning, declaring your reliance upon God. In every situation, whatever challenge, whatever situation, whatever circumstance, He knows where you are right now. He knows where I am right now. Let us take this opportunity this morning to come before him and declare our trust in him. Declare our dependency upon him. Declare our reliance in him. Declare our confidence in him. Knowing that he knows where you and I are right now. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, three times we offer prayer. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. Offer prayer. Come on, offer prayer, offer prayer. Lord, I declare my dependency upon you. I declare my trust upon you. 
I declare my reliance upon you. I declare my confidence in you. I trust in you, O oh Lord. I, def I trust in you, O oh God. I thank you that you hold me in the palm of your hand. I thank you that you know exactly where I am right now. I thank you, Lord. I will not allow my circumstance to distort my faith in you. I will not my allow my circumstances to distort my faith in you. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Do not allow your situation to distort God's greatness. Do not allow your circumstance to distort God's greatness. He is great. He holds you in the palm of His hand. And He knows exactly where you and I are. Continue to pray. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus, that you know exactly where I am. I declare my dependency upon you, O oh God. I declare my trust in you, Lord. I declare my sufficiency in you, Lord. I declare my reliance on you, God. I declare my, my trust in you, Hashem. It is only you. It is only you and you alone. Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us take our scripture reading from Psalm 73, verse 26. Psalm 73, verse 26. Psalm 73, verse 26. My, heart, my flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Please take it again. Psalm 73, verse 26. My flesh and my heart fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Amen. Amen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. In your challenge. In your challenge. Look up. Look up. In your situation. In your situation. Look up. Look up. In your trouble. In your troubles. Look up. Look up. Of a prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I choose to look up. I choose to look up, oh God. I choose to look up. Lord, I choose to look up. It is only you who holds the answer to my, my problems. You are my solution. You are my solution. You are my solution. You are my rescuer. It is only you, oh Lord, who can deliver. It is only Hashem who can deliver. It is only Hashem who can rescue. It is only Hashem who can save. It is only Hashem. Only Hashem. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Our father, the prophet Philippanda, teaches us that Jesus Christ is the answer to all fundamental issues of life. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Neighbor. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Is the answer. Is the answer. To all fundamental issues of life. To all fundamental issues of life. Please repeat after me. God Almighty, God Almighty, bring me close to yourself, I pray. Bring me close to yourself, I pray. God Almighty, God Almighty, bring me close to yourself, I pray. Bring me close to yourself, I pray. The prophet says, cement yourself with God. In 2024, plaster yourself with God. Cement yourself with God. Plaster yourself with God. Let this be our prayer. God Almighty, bring me close to yourself, I pray. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus, three times we offer prayer. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus 
and in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and in the blood of Jesus, offer prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us pray this morning. Lord, help me to eliminate my blunders. Lord, help me to eliminate my blunders. May I know who I am so that I may be useful. May I know who I am so that I may be useful. It is only Hashem who can add value to your life, to my life. It is only God who can add value to your life, to my life. Let us pray this morning. Lord, help me to eliminate all my blunders. May I know who I really am so that I may be useful. Help me, Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, three times we offer prayer. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus. And in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and in the blood of Jesus, offer prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us continue to pray this morning. 2024, the man of God, Prophet Philippander, said, It is a year of no nonsense. It is a year of no nonsense. Change will only come to those who are willing. Let us pray this morning that, Lord, may we be willing to change all these errors, all these blunders that we have committing. We refuse to remain spiritual doves. We refuse to come learning Sunday in, Sunday out, but never coming to change. Never coming to the fullness of the knowledge of truth. 
We refuse deception in Jesus' name. We demand change. Demand change in your life. Say, I demand change. I demand change. I demand change. I demand change. 2024 will be a year like no other for you and for me because we demand change. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, we offer prayer. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And in the blood of Jesus, we offer prayer. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse nonsense in my life. I refuse, oh Lord, to remain a spiritual father. I refuse, Lord, to come in, to come out and never change it. Lord, I refuse in the name of Jesus. Let this year be a year like no other in my life. Let this year, oh God, be a year that is free from nonsense. That is free from childishness. That is free from error and blunder. In the name of Jesus and the blood of Jesus. Lord, help me, I pray. Let this year, oh Lord, be a year like no other for me. I refuse nonsense. Help me, Lord, I pray. Help me, oh God. I demand change. In my life, I demand change. Help me, oh Lord, to change. Let your word, oh Lord, transform me from the depths of my soul, from the depths of my heart. Let your word penetrate deep within me. Let your word, oh Lord, cut through the barriers in my heart. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let us continue to pray this morning. Pray for your heart. Let us pray for our hearts. That this morning as the word comes, we will allow the word of God to penetrate, to cut deep and knock and open those doors in our, in our hearts that are closed. Those little compartments where we, where we are refusing to let the word of God reach. Today, let it be the day that the word of God penetrates. It cuts through deep and reach where it's supposed to reach. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let our hearts be open to your word today. Let our hearts be open to your word today. If I've not been hearing, let me hear today. If I've not been listening, let me listen today. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus. Three times. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. We offer prayer. mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we have prayed let us pray father in heaven deliver me from all evil impulses and fill my heart with humility father in heaven deliver me from all evil impulses and fill my heart with humility let Hashem fill our hearts with humility you can never acknowledge your, your wrongs, my errors, if I'm proudful. Even when the man of God asks, are you okay? Because I'm full of pride, I will say I'm fine. Because I'm more concerned about the public rather than what God wants to do in my life. Let us pray today that Lord, fill our hearts with humility. Remove all impulses of evil from us. And fill our hearts with humility. It is between you and God today. It is your appointment with God today. Tell your neighbor today. 
today. It is between me and Hashem. It is between me and Hashem. Today. Today. It is between me and Hashem. It is between me and Hashem. One, two, three. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus and in the blood of Jesus Christ. Offer prayer. you, O Lord. Lord, deliver me from all evil impulses. Deliver me from all evil impulses. Help me, O Lord, I pray, that today my heart will be filled with humility. Let my heart be filled with humility. May I cry out for help, O Lord. May I cry out for your help, O Lord. It is only me who knows it. He who feels it knows it. It is me, Lord, who needs the help. Lord, may I see you and not men. May I see you and not men. Let my heart be filled with humility. Let me not care what people say. Let me not care what people think. It is between you, me and you today. Lord, it is between me and you today. While on others you are touching, oh Lord, do not pass me by. While on others you are touching, oh Lord, please do not pass me by. While on others you are touching, oh Lord, do not pass me by. In the name of Jesus Christ, while on others you are passing, or you, you, you are passing, Lord, do not pass me by. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Let this be our prayer today. Lord, Lord. while on others you are touching, while on others you are calling, while on others you are calling, while on others you are healing, while on others you are healing, while on others you are delivering, while on others you are delivering, do not pass me by, do not pass me by, Lord, do not pass me by, Lord, do not pass me by, one, two, three, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and in the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, suffer prayer. Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the grace to be in your hands today. I thank you, O oh Lord, for choosing me. Lord, I pray today that while on others you are calling, while on others you are healing, while on others you are touching, while on others you are blessing, while on others you are restoring, while on others you are delivering, oh my God, do not pass me by. Oh my God, do not pass me by. While on others you are calling, Father, do not pass me by. While on others you are calling, Father, do not pass me by. While on others you are healing, Father, do not pass me by. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and in the blood of Jesus. Lord, while on others you are calling, do not pass me by. While on others you are calling, do not pass me by. Lord, hear my cry today. Hear my cry today. Hear my cry today. Hear my supplication today. Hear my prayer today. Hear the blood of Jesus. Hear my prayer today. Hear my prayer.
In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Give God a hand clap of offering this morning. Give God a hand clap of offering this morning. Whom are we praying to? Whom are we praying to? Let's pray for awareness of God this morning. Ask God to cleanse your mind from self-image, from honor, from pride. May we have awareness of whom we are standing before this morning. Offer prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. We are standing before the master of the world. We are standing before the Lord. We are standing before the Most High. We are standing before the Creator. We are standing before the Preserver. We are standing before the Eternal. We are standing before the everlasting God. We are standing before the Lord, our banner. We are standing before the Lord who heals. We are standing before the Lord, our shepherd. We are standing before the Lord who sanctifies. We are standing before the Lord who provides. We are standing before the Lord of peace. We are standing before the Lord, our rock. We are standing before the Lord, our deliverer. We are standing before the Lord of hope of Israel. We are standing before the Abba. Some call him Abba Father, Father to the fatherless. This is whom we are standing before. Some call him Alpha and Omega. Some call him my Redeemer. Some call it my king. Some calling the Lord, he is here. Some calling my righteousness. We are standing before the Lord of hosts. Amen. Offer prayer. You know your situation. Call him by that name in your life. If he is a healer, he is healer. If he's your redeemer, call him redeemer. We are not standing in front of our parents. We are standing before the God Almighty.
we are not standing before our friends, but we are standing. We are standing before the God Almighty God, the God who reigns forever, the eternal God. Offer prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. We continue offering prayer this morning. Say, gracious heavenly Father. Gracious heavenly Father. We are so grateful to you. We are so grateful to you. And your name. And your name. And to your name. And to your name. Holy name. Holy name. We are here because. We are here because. Of your love. Of your love. And to obey. And to obey. We don't seem to understand it. We don't seem to understand it. We struggle. We struggle. We bring you. We bring to you. To the level of man. To the level of man. And we leave you there. And we leave you there. As a result. As a result. We do our own desire. We do our own desire. And our own desires. And our own desires. Have really messed us up. Really have really messed us up. Have really messed us up. Even in the mess that we are in. Even in the mess that we are in. We still continue. We still continue. Blaming you. Blame who is innocent? Who is innocent? But instead of looking at our lives, but instead of looking into our we lives, say that these are my desires. That these are our desires that have really distanced me. That have really distanced me. That have really pulled me away from the faith. That have really pulled me away. Away from, from the road of salvation. Away from the road of salvation. Everything is plain. Everything is plain. But we stand arguing with you. But we stand arguing with As you. As if we argue with you. As if we argue with the you. The creator of all things. The creator of all things. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Our mental capacity. Our mental capacity. Itself cannot even comprehend. Itself cannot even comprehend. It cannot even comprehend you. It cannot even comprehend you. But we you. want to argue with you. But we want want to argue forgive with you. us forgive us we are far from salvation we are far from salvation we are far from knowing you we are far from knowing because you. we want to argue because we want to argue on the things that we want for ourselves on the things that we want for ourselves in our personal lives in our personal lives to achieve to achieve and to look as if and to look as if we have we have and these are the things and these are the things that have hindered us to know you that have hindered us to know you to serve you to serve you and to love you and to love you forgive us forgive us in Christ's name we pray in Christ's name we amen. pray amen 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 continue offering prayer Continue offering prayer. Ask God to forgive you and I this morning. That we may stop blaming him. And we take ownership of our own lives. Offer prayer.
Offer prayer, offer prayer. We are standing before the one who forgives. We are standing before the one who is merciful. We are standing before the God who is compassionate. Offer prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Say, Lord, all I need is your mercy. All I need is your forgiveness. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, enter my soul and make my heart ready to live for you. Oh, Holy Spirit of goodness. Oh, Holy Spirit of goodness. Forgive my evil deeds. Oh, Holy Spirit of hope. Forgive my self pity. Oh, Holy Spirit of faith. Forgive my doubt. Oh, Holy Spirit of humility. Forgive my pride. Oh, Holy Spirit of self control. Forgive my grief. In Jesus Christ's name. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. 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 Our God is a forgiving God. The one we stand before this morning is a forgiving God. Amen. We continue offering prayer. Say, Father. Father. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for this morning. It's always a privilege and honor. It's always a privilege to stand and before honor you. To stand before you. To know exactly why we are standing before you. To know exactly why we are One standing before you. One who knows. One who knows. One who owns. One who owns everything. Everything. It's very humbling. It's very humbling. And reassuring at the same time. And we are showing at the same time. Knowing that my needs and my wants. Knowing that my needs and my wants. And my desires will be met. And my desires will be met. Because I brought them before you. Because I brought them before you. And we shall have a discussion. And we shall have a discussion. Concerning issues that I do not understand. Concerning issues. That, I do not that my heart will be open. That my heart will be open. My ears will be very attentive. My ears will be very attentive to what you will say today. To what you say today. Because through your speech. Because through your speech. You are guiding me. You are guiding where me. Where to go. Where to go. What to do. What to do. And what not to do. And what not to do. It is in this relationship. It is in this relationship. Dear Lord, Dear Lord, that I want to cultivate. That I want to cultivate. That I grow in you. That I grow in so you. So I do not miss anything. Lord, do not miss That you anything. have said before me. That you have said before me. From long me. time back. From long time back. When people heard about you. Your people heard about you. And spoke you, about you. And spoke about you. And sought you. And sought you. Those who found you. Those who found you. Those who found you. Those who found you. Were never in misery again. Were never in misery again. But we... But 
But we are so much mystical. But we are so much mystical. Because we think that you are rare. Because we think that you are Because rare. we don't want to dig deep. Because we don't want to dig We don't deep. want to invest our investment in you. We don't want to invest our investment. We rather in run you. around and try to achieve without strength. We rather run around. We rather run around and try to achieve. And try to achieve without strength. Without strength. And as a result. And as a result. Because of jealousy and envy. Because of jealousy and envy. We fall short. We fall short. And many things. And many things that we possess right now. That we possess. Do not right come now, from you. Do not come from you. Because we want comfort. Because we want comfort. We want comfort. We want comfort. Before we know you. Before we know Father. you. Father. 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 We come before you pleading. We come before you pleading. For mercy. For mercy. For we have missed you by a hundred miles. For we have missed you by a hundred miles. We have missed you by one thousand miles. We have missed you by one thousand miles. And we are looking for you. And we are looking for in you. In total darkness. In total darkness. Our hearts are dull. Our hearts are dull. Our ears have stopped hearing you. Our ears have stopped we hearing you. We want to hear words saying. We want to hear words You are saying. rich. You are rich. You are rich. We want to hear words that say. We want to hear words. All, that will, say, be well. all will be well. All will be well. The words that are empty. The words that are empty. They've got no feeling in them. Have got no feeling in Father, them. Father. 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 May we go back to the drawing board. May we go back to the drawing board. May we board. go back to the Mount Sinai. May we go back to Mount Sinai. Where everybody is shaking. Where everybody is as shaking. As they come before your presence, God. As they come before your presence, Because God. they knew. Because they knew. Because they knew. That they may not live alive. That they may not live alive. Everybody was ready. Everybody was ready to stand before God. To stand before and God confess their sins. And confess their sins. No one was forced. No one was forced. No one was pointing finger. No one was pointing at finger anyone. At anyone. Because everyone saw his own heart. Because everyone saw his own As the heart. Lord was speaking. And the Lord was speaking. May that day come this morning. May that day come That this no morning. one will hide from anyone. That no one will hide from and anyone. And all the pretense. And all the pretense. And all may fall away. And all may fall away. It's only ourselves. It's only ourselves. That we are wasting our own lives. That we are wasting our own lives. Wasting life. our own Wasting our own time. Wasting our own energy. Wasting our own energy. And our judgment. And our judgment. When that time comes. When that time we comes. shall be judged. We shall be judged. Heavily. Heavily. We are taking someone else's space. We are taking someone else's space. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. Forgive us. We love you, Lord. We love you, and Lord. And thank you for loving us. And thank you for in loving spite us. of everything. In spite of everything. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are truly great. You are truly great. Because of your mercy. Because of in your Christ mercy. Name, in Christ's in name, amen. In Christ's name. In Christ's name, amen. Amen. Continue offering prayer. You and I need the mercies of God. That's the only thing that has brought you and I to this place this morning. Offer prayer.
In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. We continue offering prayer to our maker. Amen. In Genesis chapter 44, verse 16. Then Judah said, What shall we say to my Lord? What shall we speak? Or how shall we clear ourselves? God has found out the iniquity of your servants. Here we are, my Lord's slaves. Both we and he also with whom the cup was found. This is Judah coming to Joseph. He said, what must I say to you? I have wronged you. This is us this morning. What shall we speak to our Lord? What shall we say? What words must come out of our mouth? But here we are in his sanctuary. Can our mouth remain closed forever? God is compassionate and waiting for you and I to pray to him. He's waiting for you and I to say, Lord, I need you. I cannot do it on my own. To say, Lord, I need you. I cannot do tomorrow or the next minute without you. Offer prayer this morning. Offer prayer. Offer prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Can I see the hands of those who believe that God is here in this place? Can I see the hands of those who say, this is my healing place. This is my salvation place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We continue offering prayer. Our Father has given us prophecies. He has given us words of promise that you and I can walk in in the rest of 2024. Amen. I want you and I to proclaim these words and make them live in us. Amen. Say 2024. 2024. A year like no other. A year like no other. 2024. 2024. A year like no other. A year like no other. 2024. 2024. I will sing a new song of wonders. I will sing a new song of wonders. 2024. 2024. I will be satisfied with the length of days. I will be satisfied with the length of 2024. days. 2024. 2024. I am unique. I am unique. I am unique. I am unique. 2024. 2024. It is not a normal moment in my life. It is not a normal. It is not a normal life. moment in my life. It is not a normal moment. 2024. In my life. 2024. A year of changing destinies. A year of changing Cancellation destinies. of wrongful destinies. And cancellation of wrongful and rewriting destinies. rightful destinies. And rewriting wrongful destinies. 2024. 2024. I have gained years of my life. I have gained years of my life. I was underrating myself. I was underrating myself. 2024. 2024. Forget it. 
like this. We have never seen something like 2024. this. 2024. 2024. More so. More so. More so. Because of what is happening in the world over. Because of what is happening in the world over. God will accept my prayer. God will accept my prayer. God will accept my prayer. God will accept 2024. 2024. God is putting in. God is putting in. In 2024. In 2024. Because I am connected. Because I am connected. Because I am connected. Because I am connected. 2024. 2024. I am being restored. I am being restored. I am being restored. That it is love. That is his love. That is his love. His kindness. His kindness. And favor. And favor. Amen. 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 Give God a hand clap for your offering.
Youth, 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 come on. Youth, can I see the youth? Come in the front, come in the front. Come in the front. Come in the front. Youth, come on. Youth, 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 youth. They are not there. Where are you? Come on.
desire, my desire, my desire is to know the
Good morning, church. Good morning, church. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in need. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. On behalf of the men of God, Prophet Philip Banda and Mam Tesha Banda, you are welcome to today's service and thank you for coming. Amen. Amen. Viewers all over the world using various platforms to connect with us, you are welcome. To our visitors who are visiting Impact for Christ Ministries and those who have tuned in for the very first time to ITVN, you are also welcome. Let us have those who are visiting us. May we please kindly rise, rise up so that we can welcome you. Our first time visitors, may you please kindly rise up. Amen. You are more than welcome. This is your father's house. Someone like me came just as you have, we have come today, carrying negative history, but because of the grace of God, the history of, bad, of the bad past is unfolding. You are in the right place. You are more than welcome. May God meet you at the point of your heart's desire. Amen. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Let's clap hands for Jesus. Thank you. We may sit down. Announcements. Amen. We have a couple of announcements. The first announcement, it is about membership. For those who want to be covered in members of Impact for Christ Ministries, please see the membership department on Sundays after the 9 a.m. prayer. They are situated or located by the coordinator's desk. Those who have been signing up for membership from last year, the coordinator's classes began yesterday, so the next coordinator's class will be on the 10th of February at 9 a.m. at Shiloh. Those who have been signing up for membership from last year, you, the coordinator's class will be continuing again on the 10th of February. Our second announcement about submitting a prayer request to the prophet. To our viewers all over the world, Impact for Christ ministry, family and friends, if you are going through a challenging time, a difficulty, a struggle in your life, you are invited right now, not tomorrow, not later, but right now to send your prayer request to the man of God, Prophet Philip Banda. The line is always open and available just for you. Please kindly note our cell phone number for the prayer request has changed. Please send the prayer request to the prophet using this new number. The new number is 071-965-5038. I repeat the number. 071-965-5038. You can send your prayer request with your name your phone number, let's watch the screen, let's look at the screen for more details. Our third announcement, testimonies. Testimonies, we are encouraged that we overcome by the word of testimony. So if you have been sending a prayer request or you sent a prayer request before, you are invited to kindly send a testimony to the same line, to the same number where you sent the prayer request. 
We would like to hear more from you. Please kindly note that the cell phone number has changed and we, we, the new number, it is 071-965-5038. We can't he wait to hear what God has done in your life so that we can also be encouraged. Amen. Our fourth announcement regards connecting to God's teachings. Last year, in October, we had, a, we had a series of teaching and prayer and fasting where the man of God was teaching us on how to connect back to God. Please kindly note that there are teachings, the teachings of the man of God, Prophet Philip Banda, during the time of prayer and fasting camp are now available at the bookshop for purchasing. These teachings are on a USB. This is the USB that I have. It has got 19 teachings in it. Please make sure you get your own copy of the USB. This will transform your life. It will transform your thinking and change your life. It will also change your family because as you are playing it, I believe we are not going to be greedy with the Word of God, but we can and we will play the teachings while we are sitting with our families, friends and colleagues at, at work. So the USB, you can use it while you are driving, going to work. You can also use, the, you can be also able to listen to the teachings because the USB is compatible. It has got the C type, so you can also be able to listen to the teachings while you are taking your smart drive. Some of us, we prefer to sit in a taxi and look at the way we, where we are going, having the driver driving for us. So while the driver is doing their work, you may be listening to their teaching. So you are more than welcome. And please take note, this teaching is only sold for cash. Cash only. So please make your way to the bookshop and get yourself a copy. How many of us have got a copy of the teachings? How many of us have got a copy of the teachings? Thank you. An encouragement to those who are still walking slowly. The number may be limited. Please make sure you get your own copy. And may your life be changed as you listen to the teachings. Amen. Our last announcement regards the Impact for Christ Bible Training Center. Amen. Amen. 2024 Impact for Christ Bible Training Center. The registrations are now open. To find out more information, please contact the Impact for Christ Bible Training Center on their email, which is IFC. BTC at mweb.co.za. This is a, is, a, is a moment for you and I to be able to grow personally. It is not for us to become a pastor, but it's for us to grow personally. Let us watch the video. Amen. Amen. Those of us who may be needing assistance with the online registration, please kindly go to the Bible school desk next to the coordinator's office. 
Those who are needing assistance with online registration, please go to the Bible school desk next to the coordinator's office. Amen. 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 A time of obedience to God, tithe and offering. Let's clap hands for God. This is a time of obedience to God. For we are commanded to honor God. May you please kindly read for us Malachi 3 verse 10. Malachi chapter 3 verse 10. Bring all the tithes into the storehouse, that there be me food in my house. And try me now in this, says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it. Amen. Can you please kindly open the book of Luke chapter 6 verse 38 for us as well. Luke chapter 6 verse 38. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over will be put into your bosom. For with the, me with the same measure that you use, it will be measured back to you. Amen. Whatever you have prepared, take it out and keep it on your hand as we offer prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you and bless your holy name. Thank you for your grace and provision in our lives. Enable us, O oh God, to obey you and honor you without compromise and failure. Father in heaven, bless your people, O oh God, as they obey you. Increase and multiply the source for your name's sake. Make us faithful, O oh God, and keep us faithful. May our hearts be glued to you, and may we cement ourselves to you, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Yeah. 
No sorrow, there is no sorrow, sorrow in heaven. Yes, I know there is no sorrow, there is no sorrow, sorrow in heaven. Yes, I know because my home, my home, my home, my home, my home, my home is far away. Because my home, my home, my home, my home. My home, my home. We will be dancing, we will be dancing, dancing in heaven. Yes, I know. We will be dancing, we will be dancing, dancing in heaven. Yes, I know. Because my home, my home, my home, my home, my home is far away. Because my home, my home, my home, my home, my home. Because my home, 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 my home
We will be clapping. We Because my home, my home, my home, my home, my home, my home is far away. Because my home, my home, my home, my home, my home, my home is far away. There is no sorrow, there is no sorrow, sorrow in heaven. Yes, I know there is no sorrow, there is no sorrow, sorrow in heaven. Yes, I know. I will exhort you, Lord. We welcome you to today's service in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today we would like to extend gratitude to the prophet's teachings. Sit back, relax, and enjoy what my friends have to share with you. The teaching of the prophet has really impacted my life by teaching me how to become a true Christian and the good and bad about the world. Yes, as children's ministry, we do not hear directly from the man of God's Sunday teachings. But as our parents are being taught and as their lives change, so does our lives as children. Thank you so much, Prophet, for the words of wisdom you always give. Psalms 118, verse 24. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. The man of God in his book, Rearing the Mind, chapter 5, page 14, he said, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today I choose to love instead of fear. I choose to peace instead of conflict. I choose to be a love finder instead of a fault finder. I choose to be a love giver instead of a love seeker. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I am a child of God. He has cleansed me by the blood of Christ. My Father has filled me with the Holy Spirit, so I am dedicated to the Lord, strong and powerful in Him. I will worship and serve the Lord at all times with divine energy He inspires within me. Philippians 4 verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. We are grateful to God for our Father. The, uh, we are grateful to God for our Father, the Prophet, our rope holder. He has impacted us in so many ways. His mission is to His mission is to point us back to our Creator. In His book, I Opener, page fifty-six, giving thanks, He said. At this moment, take a paper and a pen and write down a list of gratitude. Things you have been given and are happy with. Grateful for, no matter how big or small. Please read them out. Please read them out loud one by one and 
give thanks for them from the bottom of your heart. Let, let gratitude echo inside of you. Let gratitude echo inside of you from the head to the heart, from the heart to the entire body. Let all your bones give thanks. Spreading opening hands, saying, thank you. I want to thank my, fa my grandfather, my prophet, for the love he has for us. I want to thank you for giving us wonderful teachers at Children's Ministry to teach us about the true God of the Bible. The God of Israel, we appreciate you, we love you. Amen. What you are grateful and thank you for will always increase your life. Ephesians 5 verse 20. Giving thanks always for all things to God. The Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. How prophet, how prophet has impacted my life. Prophet has taught me how to, to pray in the morning. On rise and shine before I go to school. I also learn to open and read Bible scriptures. I I have learned to love, honor, and respect my parents. The teachings of the prophets are profound, genuine, and truthful. They are my roadmap. My mother always refers to them, correcting and guiding me. She always says, the prophet this. The prophet say this, the prophet say that. Thank you. Thinking, thinking of the day when I walked away. It was a boring day. I was missing you. Thinking of the day when I walked away. It was a boring day. I was missing you. Oh, Lord, I need your power. I need your presence. I need your touch because I love you, Lord.
want to remind you of this encouraging, spirit-lifting message from the men of God. Children of God, listen to this. Don't judge yourself on the present situation. One, one, season, one season, David was a shepherd boy. The next season, he was king. By season, I mean it can take 10 years, 15 years, 20 years. But this, but this person has destiny. Starting well doesn't mean you will end well. One season, Ruth was, a, was working on the field. The next season, she was owning the field. One day, Mordecai was sitting outside the king's palace. The next season, she wa he was inside the king's palace. I want to tell you that we serve a God who gives in, in, in merited favor. We serve a God who turns things around. Two children from the same home. One always demands things from the father and is always complaining, while the other appreciates the father for the gifts and enjoys fellowship with them. Though the father loves them both equally, why does the other one seem to gain favors? Why? Well, because, the, well, because a, a grateful heart always receives. Stop overlooking what you have, what you have and overvaluing what you don't have.
extend our given nations to you, O oh Lord. That's the cry of my heart. Dissensions and the islands will see your love as it rises on us. You said, I scan up. Out of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh 
And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath the I am able Oh, I'm gonna sing of the goodness of God Oh, I'm gonna sing of the goodness
voce dice voi sì
Thank you very much. Thank you. You, you are all right. Outside. Tell the neighbor. You're all right. Outside. The problem you are having now is you don't trust. You don't trust God. You don't trust anyone. So, you just trust yourself. That's how you are. You don't trust God. Even coming here now, you are not trusting God. You are hoping in God. Tell your neighbor. Even coming here now, you're not trusting God. You're hoping in God. That's all. Hope, hope, hope. Maybe hope, hope. You're not trusting God. There's no way that you can trust God and remain the way you are. Impossible. Impossible. I'm challenging you here now. There's no way that you can trust God, you, and stay the way you are. You. It's impossible. It's impossible. People who trust God, you are not trusting God, you are hoping. That's why you say maybe this week, maybe next week, maybe tomorrow, maybe afternoon. That's why you get tired, hoping, because you don't trust. Tell your neighbor. That's why you get tired, hoping, because you don't trust. Again, please. That's why you get tired, hoping, because you don't trust. The thing that is in our brother is bigger than him. This, when you are looking at camera, this is bigger than him. That's majority of us. Before birth, there were covenant. In the covenant, you did not know, but you are born now. How do you know what covenant you belong to? Discuss and sit down. How do you know which covenant you belong to? Discuss. One week prayer, one month coming to church, and they say, God bless me. Tell them about one, one month coming to church, and you say, God bless me. Once in a month, you are here today, and you want God to bless you. Today, you think God is a joker. You, you think you are playing cards here. You think this is where you go to big hotel to play those things? What is that thing? Casino. Casino. You think this casino? Today, Joker. Tomorrow, Queen. The other day, King. Tell the neighbor. Today, Joker. Tomorrow, Queen. The other day, King. That's why you are coming here. Chancing. You don't trust. You don't just trust. Everything that happens to you, you should explain. That's why you're even explaining God. Tell them never. Everything that happens, you should explain. That's why you're even explaining God. This year, strengthen yourself in God. Not in human being. 
human being will fail you. Human being will trust you now, tomorrow he changes his mind. If I used to trust in human being, this thing was not going to be there, I was going to be dead. Even you today, you come to play, tomorrow you don't come. So what are we going to play? Discuss your neighbor. Even you, you come to play, tomorrow you don't come. So what are we going to play? And we say, prophet, trust me. Trust you. Me, trust you. You study Bible. You study Bible. You are even good. Team. Team. You meet on computer. Team. Study Bible evening. Come, 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 come. Hey, connect. Also connect. You are late. Connect. You even choose leader. Study, study. Studying healing. Studying providence. Studying miracles. Studying this. Study, study, study. When it comes to practical, zero. Thank you. So why study? Tell your neighbor. Study, study, study. When it comes to practical, zero. So I can't hear study? you. I can't hear you, computer. Let's study. Healing, healing. Hey, faith. Hey, believe. Practical? Zero. So what are you studying? I'm asking you, don't look at me. How to receive from God? You study this scripture. How to receive healing? This scripture. How miracle to take place? This scripture. Everything. Study, study, study. Study, study. We are tired of study. You are now doctor study. <laughs> Practical? Zero. So what are you doing? Where is trust? That's a question now. Where is? Trust. After you have studied all this, where is what? Trust. No, God is your father. God is your father. He cannot leave you like this. After you say so, he leave you like that. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. After he says so, he leave you like that. As long as you don't understand God's greatness, your study is in vain. Tell your neighbor. As long as you don't understand God's greatness, your study is in vain. That's why me, I can walk now line to line. A person who trusts He has already prayed. Can you see? Ask your neighbor now. Have you already prayed or you want to pray? Have you already prayed or you want to pray? Discuss, please. Things can change without trust. You have seen it yourself. You don't trust, you hope in God. There's no trust. You hope, hope, hope. After hoping, you believe. Even Satan believe. Tell your neighbor. Hope, hope, hope. After hoping, you believe. Even Satan believed. What type of believing is this? What type of believing do you have? 
you believe in something you don't trust. So what do you want? Ask your neighbor. You believe in something you don't trust. So what do you want? You have written enough notes. Discuss. I said discuss, you are still writing. Can you, see? you don't even understand what I'm saying. Maybe in discussing you may hear something. Church is not just coming to be seen. Church you come from transformation. to believe or quote scripture all who trust pray because they know they will receive nothing man as prayer they know it they communicate to Father. So, all who trust, pray. Question is yours now. Did you hear what I say? Yes. What did I say? All who trust, pray. So, do you even force them? No. How about you? Look Friday, even morning, you come after prayer is over. You say traffic, only on your road. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. Look Friday, even morning, you come after prayer is over. You say traffic, only on your road. It shows you don't trust. That's so. all. You come here hoping. Many, million and million of your kind are there. They believe without trusting. You are one of them. You believe without trusting. So, million and even encourage each other. The scripture you read in the morning. I believe this will happen. Look at how you've carried the Bible as if you're in grade two. Tell your neighbor. Look at how you've carried the Bible as if you're in grade two. Yellow paint, green, purple, black, what? Color, highlight, highlight. The whole Bible is color. The only page you didn't color is in the beginning. <laughs> Tell your liver. The only page you didn't color is in the beginning. Mm, that one you left it out. <laughs> but what are you doing? James 2, verses 19 and verses 20. James chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. Yes. You believe that there is one God. Yes. You do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? Read again. I like your reading. James chapter 2, verse 19. You and don't 20. read such scripture. They are not good for you. Because even scripture you choose, which one to teach? The one for money, the one for promotion, the one for overcomer, overcomer. All those who don't trust. They pray for blessing. 
Did Abraham pray for blessing anywhere? No. But what does the Bible say? Was he poor or blessed? He was blessed. Where did he pray for blessing? Blessing come by obedience. Tell your neighbor. Blessing come by obedience. Not by prayer. Those are just needs. Need. I need transport to go to Santon. Please provide for me transport now. Come. But blessing, genuine blessing, generational, comes by obedience. Generational blessing. I'm not talking about praying for a blouse <laughs> or extra hair on the hair. Tell you never. <laughs> Read again, Sam. James chapter 2, verse 19 and 20. You believe that there is one God, you do well. Even the demons believe and tremble. But do you want to know, O oh foolish man, that faith without works is dead? You are blaming me. Prophet, uh, I've been coming in here 20 years, what and what. Please. Faith is not trust. Tell your neighbor. Faith is not trust. Sit down, please. Thank you. Faith is not trust. It is not trust. This I'm repeating because it's important. We have been missing it. Faith is a tree. And trust is its fruit. Tell your neighbor now, please. Faith is a tree and trust is its fruit. Again, my daughter. Faith is a tree and trust is its fruit. Don't look at me. Look at what you have written, please. Spare me. Spare me. Oh, I'm applying faith. Hey, hey, pray faith. Hey, hey, I hear a man of faith. Oh, I hear. You, oh, you, please. Faith is not trust. No. Faith is a tree. Trust is its fruit. How do you know that a tree is healthy and productive? By what? By its fruit. Jesus said, when he come now again, is he going to look at faith or fruit? He's going to find it on you. Discuss the trophy. Discuss the fruit that Jesus is looking for. Is he going to find it on you? He's, he's not coming for jacket, shoes, skirt, house. All those who pass away, When the Son of Man come again, we will find faith on earth. Now, in us, in you. Will he find faith in you? Where is the fruit? Where is the fruit? You don't even know how many chairs you have broken sitting down here every Sunday. <laughs> Tell your neighbor. 
You don't even know how many chairs you've broken sitting down here every Sunday. And you break one chair. That's the only fruit we get from you, breaking our chairs. Faith is not trust. Faith is a tree. We shall know a tree by its fruit. That's what Jesus meant. Faith. What is your faith producing? Discuss. What is your faith producing? Discuss, please. Simple message, this one. We are happy to see you in today. I hope you are coming again next week. Tell your neighbor. We are happy to see you in today. Prophet hopes you're coming next week. You can't grow in God the way you are treating yourself. Never. And you cannot receive blessing of God. A lot of what people say they are God's blessing, they have blessed themselves. Because blessing itself is a miracle. Unless you are a magician who make miracle for yourself. Tell your neighbor. Unless you are a magician who make miracle for themselves. Mm -hmm. Faith, you Christian, you say you live by faith. You, thank you. You live by faith. By faith. Trust zero. A tree can flourish without bearing fruit. Put a song. Put a song. While you are waiting for a song, tell your neighbor what you heard. A tree can flourish without bearing fruit.
James 2, 17. I told you a tree can flourish without bearing fruit. It's only there for the shed. Yes, please. James chapter 2, verse 17. Thus also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. Read that again, sir. James chapter 2, verse 17. Thus also, faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. You should know, you people, the year is pregnant. Blessings are waiting to be received. Blessings have got no use with God. Blessings are useful to humanity. But what are you doing? And it does not just dish out like that. No. Even if you can stay in your house two years crying, man has faith, you just die. There's nothing. You think by your tears, God will change his mind on you. Tell the neighbor. You think by your tears, God will change his mind on you. Nothing. God cannot be manipulated. God cannot be intimidated. Nothing. You have tried all your tricks. Even in your prayer, whatever you call prayer, you even take your children to God. These are children are dying of hunger. What an, is it God who gave birth to them? Ask your neighbor. Is it God who gave birth to them? Stop manipulating God. Become a Christian. That's all. That's the only answer. But all oh, this manipulation, what and what, oh, now look, oh, now look. You think God is blind. He reserves very best gift for his true children. You can claim to be his child, but you wait for you. For how long now have you been claiming you are his daughter? You are his son. For how long now? You have even forgotten. You have tried so many Bibles to read. Some of you don't even sleep, changing channel after channel. You hope one channel will say you are blessed. Tell you never. Some of you don't even sleep, changing channel after channel. You hope one channel will say you're blessed. There is only one Mount Sinai where all the commandments were given. There are not many Mount Sinai. You miss that, you miss everything. That's all. You have been missing. Now you are exhausted. Faith, what you claim this faith, can be detached from reality. You can claim your faith, but it detached from reality. Good example. Simple one. A thief wants to steal that bottle. A thief. He also prays to God, Lord, let me not be caught as I steal this bottle. I know you are a protector. You protect me. You cover me. They won't see me. Blind them all. In Jesus' name, amen. Is that true faith? How is your faith? Put a song. How is your faith? It's detached from reality. Sunday, I wake up on Sunday. Today is Sunday.
here you are. Answer is before you. But you are looking for the question for the answer. Tell the neighbor. Here you are. Answer is before you. But you're looking for the question for the answer. Answer is before you. But you're saying, where does he get his power? Are you after his power or healing? Answer is before you. Can I receive blessing? So, you have got question, well, there's answer. You are questioning answer. You give answer a question. Tell the neighbor. You give answer a question. So, your life is not changing. All we know Outside, you change. But heaven words, uh-uh. go know who are his. And time is becoming smaller and smaller. But we, we don't realize it. Message is changing here and here to reach you. But you are still playing. Your faith is detached. Faith. Tell your neighbor. Faith. Is constant. Is constant. That's why you say, prophet is always like that. How about you? How about you? Faith. It's constant. I live by faith. Hope offers no guarantee. Tell someone that they can change me. Hope offers no guarantee. Again. Hope offers no guarantee. I hope you change. I hope she will change. I hope you change. I hope she will change for the four years. I hope, I hope. I hope, I hope. I hope, I hope. No guarantee. Faith is constant. I hope next year it will change. I hope next year it will change. I hope next year it will change for me. I hope next year it will... Ah. Mm, continue. To see one who trusts God, they are always come night and day. You can lie about them, lie, he said this and this. He hears, but he's come. He trusts God. If what you have said about me, I've heard, how about God? Tell your neighbor. <laughs> if what you've said about the prophet, he's heard, how about God? If me I've heard it, what more with God? And you think you're innocent? I'm calm because I'm certain of deliverance. That's it. I'm certain this, I keep quiet. Punishment of not trusting God are the consequences you are passing through. That's all. That's punishment. Don't wait for any other punishment. Tell your neighbor. <laughs> punishment of not trusting God 
are the consequences uh -huh. you're passing through. Uh -huh. That's punishment. What other punishment do you want? Did you hear? Uh, say it again, Rida. Punishment uh -huh. of not trusting God uh -huh. are the consequences you're passing through. Right now. Those are your consequences. And you want all of us to be partaker of your consequences. How? Me, I trust God. Tell your neighbor, I cannot partake of your consequences. Me, I Prophet, trust God. Prophet cannot partake of your consequences. <laughs> Where can you say, sir? Can you see now what punishment is? You thought what? Hell. Not yet. Wait for hell. Hell, wait. Yes? Men of God, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, sir. Um, I don't know where to begin, but this begin is... Begin somewhere. Yes, yes, I'm, I'm going to. This is the reality of it, men of God, of my... It's the consequences that I'm going through yes. as a result of not trusting God. That's all. That's all. That's all. There's no witchcraft there. There's no generational case. It has not started yet. <laughs> Tell the neighbor. There's no generational curse. It has not started yet. No. Yes. Junior. Huh? Oh, this and this. Yes, please. Thank you, Prophet, for the grace. Thank you, thank you, Prophet, for teaching us about faith. If I don't have faith, and I'm praying, uh, blaming water spirit, all those things I come from. <laughs> uh -huh. all, all, all God needs from me just to have faith. Believe in him. Go further and trust. What you are seeing here is trust. When we came here with bus to see the area, there was all, was all this here. Did you trust? No. You say, now he has lost it. <laughs> we are living already a big place there, coming here. And you are one of them say, who come here? Here you are. Uh, I stand here. I am really sinking under the consequences of that uh, misunderstanding. You are seeing what you claimed God blessed you going one by one from you. Can God fool you? God increase. It does not subtract. So don't come here and tell us, God has taken this, God has taken... No, you should not have had it from beginning. In short, we are not saying what we should say. You are a bandit. <laughs> That's all. God protects what he has given. So let these things, these things that you are holding to, that are questionable, let them go. Genuine one will come. Why are you still holding on, enjoying consequences of you not trusting God? Ask your neighbor. Why are you still holding on, enjoying consequences of not trusting God? So, there's only one thing I ask of you now, that you, you, you write it in your notebook, or this one, cover in your Bible. Trust 
with certainty in 2024, but not only believe in 2024. One thing, trust with certainty. I believe, I believe God, 2024. I believe I'll be pregnant with four twins. What? You don't even know what you're saying. Certainty. I trust. And I know God will not fail me. That's what I'm talking about. No changing, changing, changing. From 2024, 2025, 2025, oh, I know with certainty, ah, before I die, you give me, before I die. You die, we don't even know what you say to God. Write that one down and sing a song to seal it. Stand up, you have what you have written. I, I don't want to read it. We say turn it in 20? 24. That God will? That's it. God will rescue. God will heal you. Amen. God will grant you success. Amen. God will grant your prayers according to his will. Build your trust. Build your trust. Faith only helps to build trust. That's all. From there, it can't do anything more. Hey. Yes, yes.
once faith has built trust. Once faith has built trust. And once that trust has been established, it defines a person's lifestyle and it defines a person's outlook. Once faith has built trust, mm -hmm. and once that trust has been established, yes. it defines a person's lifestyle, and it defines a person's outlook. It is faith and trust now. Read again, please. What defines you? If you can ask somebody. What defines you? Ask your neighbor. Huh? What defines you? You're a person, you say a person of faith, person of trust, person of what, but what defines you? Here, answer. Hmm? Once faith has built trust, and once that trust has been established, yes. it defines a person's lifestyle, and it defines a person's outlook. What defines you? That's a question now. What defines you? Def Talk to one another. What defines you? Definition of faith and trust. Does it define you? Ask your neighbor. Definition of faith and trust. Does it define you? Again, please. Definition of faith and trust. Does it define you? Discuss it. Person of faith and trust, full of anxiety, anger, short temper, everything that should not be in faith is in you. Hurry, no calmness, raising voice. You are defined by anger to stop someone talking to you. Tell a neighbor. You are defined by anger to stop someone talking to you. Now, what is that? Yes, what can you say, sir? Thank you so much, Prophet, for the opportunity. Indeed, I'm defined by all the wrong uh, teachings, desires, and everything that has been accumulating, choosing uh, to ignore the truth that is before me. And what do you want, what is the end game? It's disaster, it's chaos. Whom do you blame? It's now that I blame myself, prophet. Before now? Before now, I have been blaming everybody, the witches, you know, except myself. Does faith and trust define you so that others can follow? They never you complain. They never you change, change. They nothing. You are always calm. You are always same. Whether you have, you don't have. Same. Because you know that my Redeemer lives. I know it. 
You what? Rush, rush, rush. Look, now bank, bank owns you, owns your children, owns your house, owns your car, owns your fridge. Bank. And you show you own, own everything. Tell the neighbor. Now bank owns your children, owns your house, owns everything. Mm. And you say you own. What do you have? Oh, that. What caused that? Anxiety. No calmness. You are even lying. We are the only one without chair. Did you see your houses that are no chair? And you went to collect a chair. Do you even sit on them? I'm asking you people. Do you sit on them? They are for what? Your desire. What is it? Ah, thank you so much, man of God. This teaching just describes my consequences of not trusting God. Yes. I made things worse by not trusting God. Yes. I retaliate back what I was supposed to keep quiet. When I was accused for wrong things that I knew that I didn't do, instead of me trusting God and keep quiet, I fought back. Why? And made things okay. worse. Can you change anyone thinking about you? So why talk? That means it's you who's sick. It's you who's talking who is sick. Can I change how you think about me? No. I leave that you're conscious. It's your own problem. I know myself. Tell the neighbor, you think I can change because of you? You think profit can change because of you? I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Prophet hate me. Prophet this, prophet that. That's not me. That's your opinion. And you die with it yourself. You are not happy when you see me. Now you want me to do what? To buy you lollipop. <laughs> I'll leave you. God will reach you. Hello. Amen. That's why you say I don't want to go there, but you are here. Why? It's only truth that will set you free. Truth. And let me tell you the truth. You don't have three friends who are truthful to you. You don't. They are all liars to you. Out of those three, choose. Hear what God is saying. Which one is true? You got friends, hand, feet, hair, putting together the number of friends. Let calamity strike, then you know. Let challenge st strike, then you know. Right now, a lot of you don't have any friends. You are lying. You don't have any friend. You don't have. Even when I call you, oh, I'm busy. We are going this side. We got a friend meeting. Friend meet. Do you have a friend? No. If your wife can distance herself, you got no one. It's true. Do you have a friend? No, I don't have a friend. Before now? I thought I had, and I've got. But how are you marking them? I thought we. I don't know, just lifestyle, maybe we're going together, maybe. But at the end of the day, I realize that they are not even my friends now. Thank you. Mm. Sir? And Prophet these are the ones delaying you knowing God. Delaying you. On your cell phone, two, three hundred people. That you know. The living dead. Tell the neighbor. On your cell phone, two to three hundred people that you know. Yeah. The living dead. The, 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 no one is alive here. They are just disturbing you. Are, no one is alive here. Instead of reading Bible, 
living dead ring you? Did you hear? Did you hear? What did I hear? What for? Does it add value to you? Does it add value to you? You are told political meeting this side there were 20,000 people. What does it do to you? You want to go around and start saying what? They were Did you see them? You become a liar. All those lists, if you can go tonight, living dead. According to you, you know those are your follower. To where? I'm asking you to where? Your child come last on your people. Oh, they will run away, only your child will be there for you. Only your child that you are neglecting now. Living dead. What defines you? Please, read that. Once faith has built trust, and once that trust has been established, it defines a person's lifestyle, and it defines a person's outlook. I can't change. I'm a product of faith. I can't change. To what? To what? Give me close. Let me close this for this when excuse me, sir. This is plaster. Eh? You know plaster? And this is your house. Look how many color. Plaster is to plaster the house. The bricks, everything, you put plaster. So that what is inside is not seen. We only see plaster. Are you plastered like this with God? Define it. Discuss. Are you plastered? Are you plastered like this with God? Discuss. I said discuss. Don't shake head. Are you plaster? Are you? I'm asking. I'm not. You are plastered with what? <sighs> with a lot of wrong things. Sir. With a lot of wrongs and prophets. How do you plaster a house with wrong things? Do you plaster there? Can you see plaster? Do we see brick? Do we see steel? No. Do we see anything? No. We see what? Plaster. plaster. Why can't you be plastered like that with God? God to plaster you. I said God to plaster you. Tell the neighbor. Why can't you be plastered like that with God? God to plaster you. People don't see nothing. The Spirit of the Lord has made me breath of almighty gives me life. Tell the neighbor. Louder please. It's not man has made me.
worry, anxiety, fear, everything is in you. But you keep on buying Bible every month. Why? Why? I lose trust. I don't have trust in God. So, so you got trust in what? I'm just trusting on myself. On yourself? Mm. Do you know Think the result? Consequences now they are catching up with me. When you trust in anything apart from God, God leads you in providence. He does not provide for you. Tell your neighbor. When you trust in anything apart from God, God leads you in providence. He does not provide for you. Never. The one, the thing that you put your trust in should provide for you. Health, security, joy, everything. The thing you put trust in should provide. provide for you. That thing you put trust in, can it provide everything like that? Now you realize, no wonder you look like this. Tell your neighbor. Now you realize, no wonder you look like this. Again. Now you realize, no wonder you look like this. Yes, David. Now you see. But yes. You stop coming here for rehearsal. You say, I'm practicing. I'm practicing going to Durban. Durban. God is not in Durban. Turning your back. Hey. You lack everything. Even petrol money. You lack even pencil to take your child to school with pencil. You break enough to share for two. Tell your neighbor. You lack even pencil to take your child to school. You break everything to make it enough. In half, half, half. So that everybody is equal. Where is your provider? You trust in something other than God. Yes, David. Thank you, Prophet, for, for the opportunity, and thank you for this good message. My life is like this because I'm trusting in other things yes. than, than God. Your ability, your intelligence, your beauty, your tall, your short, your money that you found. You are not born with money. You found it, yes. and you trust in it now, not trusting the one who gave you life. The greater the friendship, the greater the bonding. Tell the neighbor. The greater the friendship, the greater the bonding. Louder, please. The greater the friendship, the greater the bonding. No one can break it. None. Because there's too much bond, too much friendship, too much trust. No doubt that God will do it. No doubt. Yes. No matter the situation you are in, others say, whoa, 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 whoa. You don't listen. You don't listen to them because your bond is strong. You know with certainty redemption is coming. They will do this, that, that. You don't shake. Check. Redemption is coming. I've got a strong bond with my creator. Our friendship is so tight. We, 
You, you write yourself, let's go to restaurant so so to cement our relationship. Don't you say so? What cementing is that? Discuss. You, you lie to yourself, let's go to restaurant to cement our relationship. What cement is that? What cement is that? Over bagger. Even after bagger, you doubt each other. Tell your neighbor. Even after burger, you dump each other. When we say we meet again in that restaurant, you say, ah, no. Last time it was me who paid. You didn't pay. <laughs> cementing. What cementing is it? Lying to one another and you continue. With trust, you are not intimidated. Where does it come from? Where does it come in? Tell your neighbor. With trust, you're not intimidated. Even if it's dark, you see light. Where people say, I can't go this side. You say, I'm going this side. You, with, with trust, you don't need crowd. You go alone. You, you switch light where they are seeing darkness. You are the very witnesses here when time comes. You'll be showing your children when we have all things here. You know here there wasn't this. When we came here, there wasn't this. But you cannot tell your child to say, I was doubting that man. <laughs> it's true. If I was to ride on your faith, I was to have been buried a long time back. Tell the neighbor... Was to rise on your faith, he would have been buried a long time. No, people are not even going to know me because of your faith. Challenges and hardships have a purpose in your life. <laughs> no, I'm telling the truth. Again, please. Challenges. And hardships have a purpose in your life. Challenges and hardships have their limits. Can you see? You, you think your challenge has got no limit. You, you think your hardship has got no limit. Challenge and hardship have got their limits. But they've got a purpose. But they've got a limit also. Did you know that? What did you know? Huh? What did you know now? And you play big guitar. <laughs> yes. Uh, Prophet, thank you very much because you, you are opening our eyes. Uh -huh. This thing that we never, we, never, we never knew because I thought maybe uh, these challenges have got no limit. How? You're just going. Going where? Number one, how did this challenge begin? It has got a beginning. True or false? It's true. Then, if something has got a beginning, this challenge has got a beginning, then it has got a? End. Why do you forget the end? That's why you turn your back on God, you go and do wrong things. Whatever. Now, you have made consequences. You could have waited. All challenges, all hardships, have got a purpose. And all challenge and all hardship have got limits. That's all. That's what I know. Now see how you have messed yourself. Sit down, please. Discuss. See how. We have messed our, ourselves. Now see how you've messed yourself. Again, please. Now see how you've messed yourself. Thinking what? Yeah, thinking what? Thinking like challenges don't have limit. Mm. That's that. 
They don't have limit. Yes. They are forever and ever. Yes, Dad. So challenge and limit are together with God. No. Because God never dies. It's your wrong thinking. Wrong thinking. That's why even poverty, you think it has come forever on you. You are not even trying any means to dismiss it. You even buy two blankets to cover it. Tell your neighbor. You even buy two blankets to cover it. It has come as a challenge to prepare you. It has come. to see, to prepare, to leave what you're trusting in, to turn slowly to trust in God. Your faith to grow, when your faith grows, your trust grows. Then the challenge, whatever it was, it has finished its purpose. Now that's the time you see, ah, look at that lady, ah, look at that man. No, get close. You cannot have this cementing when you've got other issues that you are cementing with. You don't want people to see that you've got challenge. That's the problem now. All of you, you are covering your challenges with, not with God, with your own solution. Tell your neighbor. You're covering your challenges with your own solution. Hello? True of us? Then, when you cover yourself like that, God will say, Ah, oh, we have covered yourself. Very good. Let's see how strong this cement is. I will not provide for you. Your covering will provide for you. Tell your neighbor. Then God will say, let's see how strong your cement is. I will not provide for you. Your covering will provide for you. Mm -hmm. You should know that God has got no restrictions. Why do you go trusting to something that has got restrictions? Ask your neighbor. You should know that God has got no restrictions. Why do you go trusting something that has got restrictions? Again, please. You should know that God has no restrictions. Why do you go trusting something that has, no, that has restrictions? Let me tell you how I live my life. Even when it's dark, everything is concealed. Everything. I don't see nothing. I say to God, this concealment cannot hide you from me. I see you. Can you see? I don't shake. I say what? This concealment cannot hide you from me. I see you. I tell God, I see you. I see you. In darkness, like light, both belong to God. Tell your neighbor. In darkness, like light, both belong to God. So how, how can he hide, hide in one? How? Is that possible? I can't hear you, my daughter. Is that possible? Then why, why, why when concealment has come, you, say you, didn't see, you don't see God? Give to this daughter. Huh? Um, it's because I, I don't choose to see God in my situation. I can't hear you. It's because uh, I don't choose to see God in that darkness. So you see who? Man's yes. help. Yes. Uh, it will come, but forget about God's providence. providence. That's one thing it does immediately. Providence gone. 
so that you, you realize quickly. But you don't. Providence gone. It's when you realize you got an uncle who's a farmer to bring you mew mew. Tell your neighbor. If God can take care of the whole universe, can he really not take care of you? Stand up and shake somebody. If, if huh? God can take care of the whole universe, can he really not take care of you? I say shake them to wake up. <laughs> Tell them again. If God can take care of the whole universe, can he really not take care of you? Only you. God failing to take care of you. <laughs> you know, hey, God has left me to where? The whole universe, the hair as he knows by number. And who gave you the hair that you can't even count? The problem this far, your faith and your trust has only remained in your head, no action. Tell your neighbor. Ah. The problem this far, your faith and your trust has only remained in your head, no action. Nothing. Nothing. You're just in the head. See how you quote scripture when praying, as if it's real. Turn those things into reality. Go to five people. You, you look miserable, there's no need. Turn your thoughts into reality. Go to five people while you're putting song on. Turn your thoughts I say walk around, not just yourself, walk.
we are standing, remember this as you are going home. A soldier may not fear the enemy doing combat. Tell your neighbor. A soldier may not fear the enemy during combat. No way. When combat has started, no soldier is afraid of anyone. He just wants to defeat the other one. You are the only soldier who fears a soldier when combat is on. Tell your neighbor. You're the only soldier who fears a soldier when combat is on. This I declare before you now, 2024. Raise up your hand. When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you. He brought this far to win and conquer. Tell people I was far. Tell your role. Tell your role what you have heard. The declaration. Tell them. I can see you're happy. Happy for what? <laughs> Tell them. When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you. He brought this far to win and conquer. Goodbye, world. You dance as if you are from wherever. Don't, don't care. Don't look at anyone. The problem is you are too careful about whoever. You are not even careful about God, but about a human being. Please go with your dance for the first time. I won't turn back because I won't see my Jesus someday. I got my mind made up and I won't turn back because I won't see my Jesus someday. I got my mind. Yes, I got. Because I won't see my Jesus. Someday I got my mind made up And I won't turn back Because I want to my Jesus Goodbye world I stand no longer with you Who got pleasure of sin I stand no longer with you Made up my mind God's way for the rest of my life. Made up my, made up my mind. Made up my mind. To call God's way for the rest of my life. Goodbye, world. Goodbye, world. I stand with you. Goodbye, pleasures I stand alone with you. Made up my mind. To call God's way for the rest of my life.
higher than high. Jehovah, Jehovah, me, I am my Before we pray for one or two people, we want to hear a testimony to build your level of faith. Faith is what? And? Trust is the fruit. All I want to do now is to build your? Faith. So that it can grow. So that it may also produce? So that you trust. When you trust this fruit, you couple, where are you, please? Couple, two minutes, come, come with your dear wife. Two minutes thing happened too quick. You are very welcome. I'm, I'm the interviewer, please. I'm very well. Please introduce yourself. And uh, where do you come from? How long have you been married? Yes. Shalom, church. 
my name is Peter Bsiamu. Uh, I stay here in Jobek. Originally, I'm from Venda. Uh, next to me is my wife, Irene Msiamu. Uh, we have been together for oh, 21 years now. Okay, what brings you to the front today? Uh, I'll give it to my wife to explain. <laughs> Ladies first, he's a gentleman, let's clap for him. Good afternoon, church. Um, today is the day of the Lord. We celebrate the mercy of God and the grace of God upon my life and my family through the prayers of the and the teachings of the prophet. Um, last year, uh, during September, the men of God introduced that we should send prayer requests to him personally on ITVN. So I did that because I was struggling to get work. And I've been working since 2007. I was, I was not getting permanent work. I've been in and out of contract employment. And after I have... Uh, as the men of God, after I have sent a prayer request to the men of God, and I started to see the results, my husband uh, applied for me, and then I was called for interview, three interviews in a week, and I attended two interviews same day. And now I have come to thank the man of God for, for the prayers that he has been offered uh, on our behalf. As for me, I know my prayers cannot reach anyway. But when I go down to my knees and pray, I believe that Jesus Christ will see me through him. And then uh, the man of God will pray for me as I, I follow the teachings. But... All these years when I was not getting work, I've realized through the teaching of the man of God that it is my own sins that has kept me so Let's far. Let's clap for Jesus. You hear what she's saying? It was whose fault? My fault. Uh -huh. When you reach there, you are knocking on progress. If you don't reach where she has reached, blaming people, you are waiting for the end of the world. Nothing will change. Your health will be affected. You won't have friends. You'll be bitter and rotten because you think everyone hates you. It is you, the problem. Teach them. So... As I'm standing right now, um, I, I've realized all my mistakes, and even when I pray, I'm pleading for mercy. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What I tell people, why do you go to God for to ask, ask, ask? You are living because of his mercy. You are breathing because of his grace. So what are you asking? You are not appreciative of even what he has given you freely. Mercy, that's all you need. When mercy finds you, what are you going to lack? But you know mercy, you want a big dining table, and you are only two of you. Everything you want you is for sure. For what? Even your thinking, ask for mercy to think right. That's all. Continue, sister. Yeah. 
So even while I'm still standing here to testify, it does not end here to say I have work now, I have whatever that I, I, I've been asking for and I received. I'm still seeking for mercy for the salvation of my soul because all these things, uh, I've realized that all the challenges that I've passed through because of my own sins and I've suffered so much, the, this was only leading me to get to know Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And what can you warn other, others, other couple? Okay, first go to the husband now. Husband, please. Thank you, Prophet. Uh, I'm just going to say, my wife has explained, it's, it has been a struggle. Uh, since I came here in fact in 2016, uh, August, uh, one word that the prophet told me on 2017 that I must always come here. Yes. Since, since, since it was not easy, we even wanted to divorce. Yeah. Yeah. We you you came to me privately. <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, no, there's no need. Yes. Yes, but uh, because I trusted in the prophet, and uh, I said to myself, uh, God is w here is where God led me, so I have to trust. If I don't have a rope holder, the, I, I'm, I'm doomed. Uh, checking my background and checking where I, I came, because when I even came here, I didn't have work. Uh, I was hopeless. There was nothing that work, works. But uh, uh, by, by me changing my mind and saying, hey, here is where life is. I started to see things happening. And one thing kept us uh, coming and uh, making me strong and my, my family is the principle that uh, the prophet teaches. There's one teaching that is always in my, my mind. Uh, I even made a ringtone for it. That Let's hear it, put it. <laughs> put microphone on it, we want to hear it. Yeah, you, you go to... <laughs> what is he teaching you? Learn every time the word of God. Yeah, that speaker. We will turn there and we read. Look, seed time and harvest. There's no way that you are going to harvest when you have not planted. That's his no ringtone. Way. You are crying for a miracle now. You are crying for supernatural intervention. Yes. Are you a tither? Supernatural things will happen. Because God knows he can trust you. Let's all stand up and read. Genesis said 22. Whatever version you have. And then the light. That is, that is ringtone. <laughs> Give me your phone to put. And you are wondering now, 2016, only now things are together. He was hearing that. Tell us more, please. Wonderful ringtone. It's a message. Yeah, so I kept uh, the, the message as you had in the ringtone, tithing and... Uh, yeah, it worked. And uh, as uh, when I came here, I was uh, not using my father's surname. But through the teaching of the prophet, I managed to change my surname. And even today, my family are not happy with it. But uh, our, uh, I told myself, I'll follow the prophet. And after that, uh, by changing my surname and continuing with the principle of God, we managed to buy the house that we came and testify. <laughs> And in the same teaching, the prophet was teaching that every first thing belongs to God. And we came to see the prophet and we redeemed the house because it does not belong to us, it belongs to God. And even now... You've done the same, that story building. No redemption. 
So when it starts cracking and raining, you say, Prophet, come and anoint. How did you present it to God? There it is. That's why you see at the end, when you're finishing, also everything you worked for is finishing. Nothing was redeemed for the next generation. You are very selfish, possessive. I don't know what other name to fit, but you know yourself. Continue, sir. Uh, we continue, we struggle because we were Not to struggle, you're living <laughs> because you have. Yes, uh, as we continue to come here, mm -hmm. uh, we didn't have a car, we were using a public transport. Please put camera there. There. Those who are doubting, thinking it's a picture, when you go outside, you can touch it. <laughs> this God that you claim you know works through principles. I told you earlier on, there's only one Mount Sinai finish. You get instruction there. How do you manage to fail? Never. It's impossible. It's impossible. Yes. What can you want the church and tell them? Because them they came only on Friday, overnight Friday. They want to go now with all the vehicle, house, husband, children, and money. It's one thing at a time. For example, them. Oh, I can pray for them. Them. It increased grace. That, nothing else. It's because the door to receive is open. But the only thing, they may not have grace to maintain. So, increased grace to enlarge them. To enlarge them. To enlarge them. You, you say increase my money. Do you have grace to maintain it? That's a problem. It's to increase their grace, multiply their grace. That's it. They'll be given, 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 and they'll remain the same. One shoulder will not be higher than the other one walking because you've got four cars. You are walking like this. Are you, is one shoulder carrying off a car? <laughs> Walk proper. Huh? All we need is simplicity, honesty. Where they have gone wrong, they say they have gone. All mistakes are. Huh? That's all. If there it took time. Because of the wife. There. That's why I spoke to the husband. But in other homes, the problem is the husband. So, I don't know. The wife. We left her out. Because the husband was genuine. We spoke son to father. Some of you, you're calling me father. I don't even know your name. <laughs> I'm being honest. We have never met. All you want when you come to me is to impress me. Which family can you be? Every time your child comes to impress the father, to impress the, the father who thinks, who say, but my daughter, my son, how come you get all these things? What do you do? 
a daughter should come. Say, oh, this one here, she started with raising chickens. From there, we went, she has finished now boarding school for children, university, true or false? Because you think when people come, I forget. You think my memory is like your memory. Look, when you don't know God, your memory is poor. That's one sign to tell you, your memory is poor. You don't know? God. Does God forget anything? The only thing that God forgets is sin. Sin he forgets when you confess it. Tell the neighbor. Sin he forgets when you confess it. Anything good you do for God, even in private, he does not forget. That's why you see a lot of people being rewarded public. You say, how come, how come? No, they were doing good for God Somewhere. That's what I can say. From Northwest, this one. Every time she comes, we, we talk. Two minutes, three minutes is enough. Some of you, even eight hours, you hear nothing. <laughs> that is. There is a car now there. It will give you a lift. <laughs> Before he used to look for lift. Everything is what? Sing for them all. <laughs> and those who go struggle to turn things, come and touch them. How do they think? But don't give them wrong things. Just go there and say, please, your turning around should also be? Uh -huh. Thank you very much. And we shall go and touch their car. Yeah. Thank you.
wherever you are, you can turn around for yourself. That's all. that's all. Let's bring healing, healing. You turn around, it will happen. Just go. Believe, trust. Just trust. Huh? Ah. Look, is this trusting? Hey. <laughs> I say wherever you are, turn around for your turning around. That's all. Huh? It's an instruction. Just do it. Huh? Healing. I woke up in the morning.
Declaration our daughter will re read for us because it's for us. Amen. If you got ear that ear, that's for you. Amen. And even now, things are not the same. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. So it's fighting, fighting yourself, but the things are not the same. But fighting yourself to see that change. Because change has taken place. Amen. The problem with you, because change is still concealed. You haven't seen it, but change has taken place. You say it hasn't taken place. You want to see it. That's how your faith is. That's where your problem is. Come, princess. Can you see princess? She's expecting. Okay. No, it's just an example, please. Okay? Can we see baby? Can princess say, I want to have my baby in the evening tonight? No. What should she do? For what? Yes. Process. You, when you are born again, did you wait for the princess to be born again? Ask your neighbor and put them song. Because this is a good example. We know when the process is through, there will be a baby. Yes. Every born again, Genuinely, there is there's fruit. Me, I, I know I'm born again. I don't doubt. I finished all the process. I did not hijack scripture here and there. My daughter, come. If she wants also, she can imitate this one. She can wear a thing. And you can think she's, she's what? Aha. Uh -huh. So there's true and untrue. Born again, there's true and untrue. Please, let's sing a song, we go home. Thank you, Princess. Thank you so much. Keep safe. Yes, so you. 
Satana manje Sina telu Satana manje Kamanda Oh, 
Okay, uh, thank you so much, ITVN, for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Eugene, and uh, my takeaway for today is that um, challenges uh, and hardships uh, have got a purpose, like a man of God said. And he continued to say that my challenges and my hardships have got a limit, meaning uh, I won't be like this forever. Change is coming. And um, yeah, thank you very much once again. Thank you. My name is Happiness in Lovu. My takeaway for today is that I, just, I can't just uh, hope in God. I need to trust God. Um, faith without action is dead. I need to trust God with certainty and know that God will provide. My name is Bongile. What I'm taking home with me today is is trust. I must trust in God always. So what I'm, I was doing, I was focusing on hoping, hoping that things will change, only to find out that I was wrong. I need to trust God with all of my life because God is helping everyone. The universe is also provided by God. Why not me? So I must trust God that whatever situation that I'm in, I'm going to pass through it. It will pass. Thank you. My name is Eunice Lamini. My takeaway today is to put my trust in God. And all these challenges and hardships have a purpose in my life. So I must put my trust in God and pray. My name is Natalie. And I learned today in the service that I have to trust God certainly in 2024 that He's going to provide for me. Um. My name is Leonora Adiambo Akech, and my takeaway for today is I have learned something very important that is going to change my life for good. I pray for grace to follow it. I have learned that when you put your trust in humans or anything else, God takes away his providence from you. And it has happened in my life, so I'm going to take that and I'm going to put my trust only in God alone from this moment forward. Welcome again viewers all over the world for our prayer line live service testimonies. We have a, ma a lady here. Ma'am, may you please kindly introduce your name, your surname and your age and where you're coming from. My name is Catherine Van Veek and I'm 74 years old. I'm from Eldorado Park, Joburg. Thank you so much, Miss Catherine. Can you please tell us what brought you to today's prayer line service? I came to church for a prayer because I had a stroke a week ago and I couldn't move my legs and I couldn't walk. My speech was gone and luckily somebody prayed for me and my speech came back and she said, now I must come to prayer line today. So I came, now I'm glad my legs can move and everything and I speak better because my tongue used to stuck inside my backside but it's better today. And I thank God for Prophet because he keeps on praying for me. The first stroke I also had, he prayed for me. 
Amen. We thank God for your healing. May you please just show us what you could not do before. And now that you've received prayer that you can do, just stand up and show us what you could not do that you can do now. Lift up my legs and move them because it was very painful to lift them up. Now at least the pain is gone. And I hope I can, and I trust God that I will walk now more frequently and come back to church again and my finance will be better also in Jesus name thank you very much
Shalom, shalom viewers on behalf of our father, Prophet Philip Banda, and our mother in the Lord, Mam Tesha Banda. I welcome you once again to Live Echoes, broadcasting live from Holy Land, Johannesburg. Today, the man of God, Prophet Philip Banda, shared a powerful message on trusting God. The man of God started by saying, the problem you are having is you don't trust God. Even coming for the service, you are not trusting God. You are just hoping in God. He said there is no way that you can trust God and remain the same. It is absolutely impossible. That is why you get tired of hoping because you do not trust. He said one week coming to church, one month of prayer, you say, God bless me. You are coming to church, chancing you do not trust God. He said, everything that happens to you, you should explain. That is why you are even explaining God. The man of God said, this year, strengthen yourself in God and not in human being. He said, you study so many things, how to receive from God, how to receive healing, and how to receive a miracle. You are now tired of studying. Where is trust? He said, as long as you don't understand God's greatness, your study is in vain. The prophet said, things can't change without trusting God. We need to trust God. He said, you don't trust God. You hope, after hoping you believe, even Satan believes. You believe something you don't trust. What do you want? He said, all those who trust God, they pray. He said there are many mil people, millions and millions of people out there. They believe without trusting. James 2 verses 19 to 20. You believe that there is one God. You do well. But even demons believe and tremble. He said faith without works is dead. The prophet posed a question and said, Did Abraham pray for blessings? Of course, he didn't. But the Bible says he was blessed. The prophet said, blessings come by obedience and not by prayer. He said, faith is not trust. Faith is a tree and trust is its fruit. We shall know the tree by its fruit. A question was then asked, what is your faith producing? You can't grow in God the way you are treating yourself. You cannot receive blessings from God. The prophet said, the blessing you have, you have, you have blessed yourself. Blessing, it's a miracle. The prophet said, a tree can flourish without bearing fruit. James 2 verse 17, if faith does not have works, it is dead. So he said, the year 2024 is pregnant. Blessings are awaiting to be received. God reserves very, very best gifts for his true children. Faith can be detached from reality. You can claim you have faith, but it can be detached from reality. Question is, how is your faith? You've got questions where there is answer. You give answer for the question. That is why your life is not changing. Your faith is detached. The prophet said, faith is constant. He said, hope offers no guarantee. To see one who trusts God, they are always calm because they trust God. He said, punishment of not trusting God are the consequences you are passing through. Why are you still holding on, enjoying consequences of not trusting God? Trust with certainty in 2024, but not only hoping. He said, build your trust. Once faith has built trust, and once that trust has been established, it defines a person's lifestyle and a person's outlook. The question is, what defines you? He said, definition of faith and trust. Does it define you? You are defined by anger to stop someone from talking to you. Does faith and trust define you so that others can follow you? When you trust in anything apart from God, God leaves you in providence. He does not provide for you. The prophet said, the greater the friendship, the greater the bonding, 
because there is too much bond, there is too much friendship, there is too much trust. No doubt, no matter the circumstance you are facing, you know with certainty that redemption is coming. No doubt at all. With trust, you are not intimidated. Even if there's darkness, you see light. With trust, you don't need a crowd. You go alone. The prophet said, challenges and hardships have got a purpose in your life. Challenges and hardship have their limit. This challenge has got a beginning, and that means it has got an end. That is why you think poverty has come forever on you. No, it has come to prepare you. The problem is you are covering your challenges with your own solution and not with God. You should know that God has no restrictions. Why would you go trusting something that has got restrictions, whereas God has got no restrictions? Darkness and light both belong to God. Why don't you see God in darkness? If God can take care of the whole universe, can he not take care of you? The prophet said, the problem this far is your faith and trust have only remained in your head. No action. The prophet said, a soldier may not fear the enemy during combat. When combat has started, a soldier fear no one. The focus is to defeat the enemy. When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and more numerous people than you, you don't be afraid of them. For the Lord your God is with you. He brought you this far to win and conquer. That concludes the summary of the message. Enjoy the rest of the week. Remember, God has brought you this far to win and conquer. Shalom.